What's up guys and welcome to My Garage. This is a game that's supposedly a hybrid between My Summer Car and Car Mechanic Simulator. So I myself am very, very intrigued. I'm sure some of you are as well since we're kind of taking a break from Mon Bazoo at the moment. A game that's also similar to My Summer Car. But this one, I believe, from what I've been told, it's a little bit more heavy on the mechanic simulation. Whereas... Games like My Summer Car and Mon Bazoo kind of have like the random event stuff that sort of happens around the map. There is still some stuff to explore here, but for the most part, it's going to be a mechanic simulation, which I thoroughly enjoy. So, without any further ado, let's just start going around and checking everything out. I'm assuming, judging by our little banner up here, that this is our garage. I mean, it does say my garage, so that would make sense. Oh, dude, can we like... What's Crouch? Oh no. Oh no, it's one of these. So Crouch is control, which is fine, but it's like uh, like toggled. So when you just press, you don't have to hold it. When you just press control, you crouch into these heights. It's okay, it's okay, I'll get used to it. It'll be fine. And then I think there is a zoom. Okay, and that's another, like, toggle. You don't actually have to hold that. God, this is going to be weird. I wonder how we pick things up. Uh, speaking of which, in order to move this or any other furniture, use the move tool. Purchasable in the store. All right. We have back here some storage. Use this building to store unused vehicles and car parts. They will be saved and unloaded on gate close and then loaded on gate open. Oh, actually, like, fully load. Okay. I've got gotcha. you. Well, that's cool. We're not going to be using that for a little while. I'm noticing a, a very big difference. And they're saving again. A very big difference with this game compared to, you know, similar games like it. I don't think we start with a vehicle. Which is very, very strange. I'm just not really used to that. But I know there is another little shop over here. We are stuck on nothing. And then I think that is a used car dealership that we'll be able to look at as well. We have some trailers back here. A couple of different variations of flatbeds. Okay, very expensive flatbeds. Actually, all things considered, I mean, we start with 10 Gs. That's really not that bad. It could definitely be worse. It could always be worse. So here, I know there's a gas station like across the street from our garage as well. I will go check that out. But this looks like an automotive parts store. We have click. Buy random plate. Buy custom plates. Okay, so the zoom thing doesn't really work as well as I had hoped. I'll have to try to get used to using that as well. And then we have a parts catalog. Oh, lordy. Golly, dude. There are a bunch, and I mean a bunch of different parts that we can buy. Sweet. So for right now, since we don't have a personal vehicle, I think most of these are gonna be purchased just for like our, our clients, you know, when we actually go back into the garage and get after it. But here, we have a bunch of different colored spray paints, of course. Wouldn't be complete without some colors and whatnot. I'm just trying to figure out what everything sort of looks like as well. While the games are similar, Things aren't going to look exactly the same or anything. Oh, there's the move tool. Okay, we have a builder's torch as well. There's a jack down there, and we have some boxes, jerry cans, rims, tires, a floor jack. 420, baby! All right, well, cool. I think this is all we can really do over here for right now. It's not like we could just start buying stuff. We don't know what we need whatsoever. So let's head across the street now to that gas station. We'll check that out too. I didn't really pay attention to what this said. Oh, customer parking. Cool. So when we accept jobs, I think that's where the vehicle will kind of be spawned at. Ooh, what are their gas prices? Way better than ours. Wow. Way better than ours. I can tell you that for show. And then here we have some similar stuff to what we had over in the like actual automotive store, but not as big of a selection i suppose i also didn't enable food or sleep or or thirst or or anything of that sort because i'm just trying to get accustomed to 
all these new changes. And unsurprisingly, our facility is way far away from the junkyard, which I'm sure is probably where we would buy our first car, if I had to guess. But let's go ahead and make our way into our garage for the very first time. We're going to open up the door. There it is. Nice, nice, nice. We have a barrel full of something. And then we have... Oh, the lights were already on. Okay. There just aren't any physical lights. They're just kind of orbs that appear. But this is awesome. We have an engine stand over here. A couple of trolleys that we can probably tote around. Yep. Put our parts on there if we need to. Another barrel. And then we've got a tire changer. What do they call that? Sofa. We're looking at the sofa through the wall. Okay. It is the tire mounter. We're already starting out with brake fluid, um, an electrode, a battery charger, some cutting discs, it looks like. What is this? Okay, that's the jack. What is this yellow thing? Oh, another disc. Okay, just another different type of disc, I guess. Wait, is this a welder? Oh, sick, dude. We've got to get this put up there. I didn't mention this yet, but picking items up, you you have to hold. You have to click and hold to pick an item up. So like for tools, how do we actually use the tool? It's not E. Maybe we don't pick it up at all. Is it It's right click. Okay, that's going to be really weird. Right click and everything else is usually like throw or or just drop. So that's going to be kind of hard to get used to also. Ooh, what's that? Let's put that back over there. Extension. 50 big ones for the extension on this place. We have a cardboard box over there. Okay. Not that interesting. Well, I guess let's just um let's just throw ourselves in the deep end and we'll accept our very first job. I'm assuming, yep, we're going to do that with the phone over here. We also have a radio. That's neat. I'm not going to turn that on, but that's pretty neat. Can't start. I feel like our first job being a can't start thing, probably not the greatest. Can we skip it? Can we get a better one? Can you change all worn suspension parts? Yikes, dude. Can you help me paint my car $700? It's overheating. You guys, you guys, these are too complicated. These are way too complex for our first order. My speedometer is not working. Car is loud. Can you change the engine oil and the filter? This one... This one we should be able to do, at the very least, dude. Just a hundred bucks. We're not going to be making very much from this. But um, now we get a look at our first car, so that's cool. All the cars that are, like, driving around in the background look way cooler than this thing. But ain't no, ain't no thing. Oh. Oh, it's, it's like this. Okay, so we have to hit enter to sit. I've got you. Let's try to get my controller. Thankfully, I've already gone through the trouble of setting up the controller. Um, one of you let me know ahead of time that it's kind of a nightmare. Some of the some of the like axes on your controller actually need to be inverted so you can look around. But let's turn the steering wheel so we can find the ignition and get her turned over. I'm also using automatic clutch because otherwise, if you if you have a button mapped to the clutch, you can see down here, it's already down. It's already in the down position. So you kind of use the clutch backwards as well. I just thought it would probably be easiest if we uh, if we not do that at all and just let the game take care of it. So let's drop the e-brake. We'll back out. Is this, what FOV is this? It's like 75, it's okay. It's okay, you know what, it'll be fine. Let's pull it onto the hoist. So we can do this oil change. The hoist I saw from, oh my God, dude, the concentration. Hang on, I gotta put this thing in reverse a little bit. And back to neutral. Okay, this should be a good spot, I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and rip the e-brake and then turn the steering wheel again so we can cut the ignition. All right, and then enter to sit and unsit. Dude, this is just weird. It's just, it's so weird trying to get used to this. But this hoist, dude, I saw this on like the preview video on the Steam uh, page for this thing. And that is very satisfying. I love that you can actually move the hoist arms. Let's try to put this other side under as well. Pretty good pull-on for our, for our first ever, you know, 
oil change, our first ever job in this game. That's pretty great. All right, let's put it up into the air just a little bit. What is this? DOT2 and DOT4? I don't know what that... I don't know what that does. All right, well, let's just go up with it. Not all the way to the moon, just a little bit. And then this hood opens backwards. Okay, a little bit like my summer car. I like that. This car actually looks very, very similar as well. So there we have the oil filter. We're probably going to need to drain it, but I don't have like a, a drain pan or anything of the sort. So do we just drain it out onto the floor maybe? Let's see what happens if we just try to unscrew okay that was surprisingly easy you just you just take it off wait what does that say chad chad is this vehicle called the chad hang on i think that's i no it's it's the lad it's the lad okay i was thinking it was called the chad something something on this filter oh it's for other vehicles so there is you guys there is a vehicle called a chad and I think that's the vehicle we need to own straight away. I mean, that's just, that's too cool. It really is. All right, so we've got the filter taken off. This is going to, this is going to be the longest oil change ever. Let's take this cap off as well. We'll actually, let's put it over here so we don't lose that. So we need to get under this thing to release the oil drain plug. Right? Right? I'm, I'm trying to be smart about this, you guys. I am. It's just like sensory overload at this point. Okay, that should be... Nope, a little bit higher. Okay, let's take a look for that drain plug. It's going to be right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did we just loosen that with our fangas? And it's just draining out onto the shop floor. What about a barrel? Do we use a barrel for this, maybe? A used oil barrel. Let's drop that down. Is that going to? Is that going to do good things? I think we just, yeah, we just got to let her drain out completely. Let's see if we can't pick up that drain plug again. Grab this little bugger. And then hop back up here. And install it. Wait for it. Am I, am I crouched still? What the heck? Right there. Okay. We've done it. Is it tight though? Let's grab our wrench. Okay. And then it's set on loosening. So F is going to be a tightening. Gosh, dude, this it's a lot to take in, you guys. It is a lot to take in. Okay, that's already finger tight, and that's tight enough, I suppose. So, Earl. What kind of Earl are we doing in this bad boy? We have coolant over here. We have brake fluid, but we don't have any Earl. We're going to make our way over to the auto parts store so we can see if they have some Earl. Surely, it's the, it's the only oil that they offer... 05W40. So it's 5W40. I've never seen a zero in front of that before. How much do we need? That's two liters. Is that enough? Is that I don't do I don't do liters, you guys. I don't do liters. Maybe that's fine. Let's get two. It's only nine dollars. Worst case, we overfill it. That's probably fine, right? We just need an oil filter. Which I can't seem to find find strangely enough this is a game that still doesn't have an inventory so we will be forced to carry everything to and from the shops by hand so there's one thing of oil i've already chucked the other one over this little fence here it's going to be quite a bit of back and forth but thankfully that's some stuff that we can just sort of cut so the auto parts store didn't have an oil filter let's check across the way see if they have an oil filter. They don't. All right. Maybe that's something we have to just order from the parts catalog. We have one of those in the shop, and I think we have one on our desk as well. So let's check that out. There's only one listed for $12.65. So we're going to buy that, and it just summons it right on our floor. That is terrific. Let's quickly just make sure that that is actually the right one. Okay, perfect. Well, we're good. What can we do with this one then, I wonder? Probably just chuck it in our trash can or our dumpster. Of course, before we can get some new oil put in this thing, we've got to get our brand spanking new oil filter installed. Now, we can lower her back down. Something else I've noticed, too, is there aren't very many in-game sounds or, like, sound effects, period. There's sort of an ambient uh, wind noise, but, like, there's no screwing noises. Actually, that's probably a good thing, right? Let's be honest. Now for this oil, 
I really have no idea how to do this. Maybe we equip the oil. Yes, kind of like what we do with our tools. Okay, that makes it a little easier. So we're going to do that. Is it is it filling? Do I have to lean? Is this is this a lean type situation? No, that's not working. Is there a dipstick anywhere? I don't I don't I don't even see a dipstick, you guys. Hang on. There might be one around here somewhere. I realize how frustrating this probably is for those of you that have played this game yourself. But um it's my it's my first time. You know, it's my first time. It's not gonna go swimmingly. I kind of just figured that from the get-go. Let's try to get this cap put back on. There we go. Okay. I think I was able to fill it with oil. I know for sure I replaced that filter. Let's go ahead and remove it from the hoist. And then I'll try to fire it up. Hopefully it has some oil pressure. We'll see. Actually, it probably doesn't even have, like, gauges or dials for that. Clo Close the... Please? Okay, they weren't kidding. It really is like my summer car. It's fine. The door doesn't need to close. Why would it need to close? We'll turn the steering wheel, hit the ignition. So far, so good. The door just magically closed. Let's try to back her out. Do we need to... Oh, the e-brake. Right, 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 right. Okay. Just like Mon Bazoo. Let's go ahead and back her out without taking that door off. It seems to be running fairly well. Let's pull it back up. I don't know if we need to do this or not, but let's pull it back up to our customer parking sign. We'll throw it back into neutral. Cut the ignition once again, and we can hop on out of here. Alrighty. First car done, I think. If we did everything correctly anyways. The door gap got a little wonky. Let's have a look at our job list. It says abandon, which leads me to believe that we didn't do this correctly. But what did I do wrong? One eternity later. Oh my god, I'm pouring it. I'm pouring it. Is this right though? I I'm just getting oil all over the engine. This this cannot be correct. Dude, this this can't be right. Oh no 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 no. Pull it back up, pull it back up. I that just doesn't feel right to me. I don't know why. That it just it just don't something about that, dude. Something about this. Let's try her again though. I was thinking that all we had to do was just sort of click on the cap or click on the surround there and it would just fill magically. I think that I think that's this thing just empty now, judging by the cap now missing. So let's try to grab this. Try to grab this. There we go. Back on the top of the engine and we'll close the hood. Please, 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 please. We've done it. Oh my god. Okay. Obviously, I didn't know how the oil mechanic worked, so now I know you actually have to physically pour the stuff. That's $101 in the bank, dude. Let's crouch down, grab this bad boy, and we'll just sort of throw away all the stuff that we don't need. I'm assuming this is empty. Oh my god. Come on. There we go. And I'm assuming we don't want to keep a rusty, gross oil filter. We also got some money for throwing that out, which is great. All right, but I am not satisfied with that. I think we need to do a different job. Probably not a can't start. Hoses near radiator look bad. That one seems easy-ish. $82? Okay. Not. Oh my! Uh, you done goofed here, bud. You done goofed. Is your e-brake up? Oh, nice drop top though. Hang on. Gonna drop your e-brake and push you off of this wall. What a disaster this has become for you, huh? Yo, if we damage the car whatsoever... Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Don't hit that fence. Don't hit that fence. Um, if we damage the car whatsoever during the job, it's immediately just not gonna let us complete it. So, something to keep in mind, for sure. I kind of wonder if this isn't the Chad Mobile. It would make sense. It would definitely make sense. All right, so for this, we don't really need to pull it up on the hoist whatsoever. Uh, we'll probably need a screwdriver, though. Let's actually just get a screwdriver real quick. Hopefully they have a decent amount of fuel in the tank neutral. There we be. But let's grab a screwdriver. 
and we'll see if we can't help them with that radiator hose. I was just gonna drive it over to the auto parts store. I feel like that's kind of the move right now. So let's grab this and drop her on into the seat. Is it under the vehicle now? No, it's in there. Oh, we'll find it. Just like that french fry you dropped under your seat about three or four years ago. We'll find it. Someday. Here we are, though. E-brake? E-brake drifts do work. This vehicle just doesn't have very much power. Since they're having issues with the radiator hose, it's probably not a good idea that we leave the vehicle running. So let's try to find that screwdriver. We'll pop the hood on this thing. So that radiator hose right there appears to be the culprit. Actually, both of them look pretty shot. All right, screwdriver. Old buddy, old pal. If you could, like, you know, make yourself known, make your presence known. I think that is you right there. Perfect. All righty. So now, let's equip our screwdriver, and we want to be on the loosening mode right here. Nope, we don't need a screwdriver for these hose clamps, I guess. Kind of defeated the purpose of taking a tool with us, but if it's not that, then it must be the wrench. So we'll take that over there. Watch it be neither one of these. Oh, it is the wrench. Okay, good. It's really difficult to get it right on the head of the bolt, but there's one done. Let's see about getting the others. Is there another? Oh no, that thing just straight up fell off as soon as we took that screw out. So there's just one hose clamp per each hose. There it is. All right, so now let's get those brought out of the vehicle. You down there, you've got to go over here. Cool, cool, cool. So we have a lower hose and we have an upper hose. Should be, oh, we don't, I'm still learning, obviously. Definitely still learning. We don't get those things from here. We can just buy those at our at our garage. But I guess we, we can buy them here if we really need to. So we need a lower hose. $19 for the upper hose as well. I guess we can do it here. It just doesn't really make sense to. Something like this is probably fine to do. There we go. Let's grab our wrench. And then crouch back up here. And we need to be... Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Please, just stand. Just stand up. It's not hard. We need to be on tightening mode. So we can get that little... No? The screw. I need this. I need the screw. Right there. Okay, one down. One more to go. And then I think we're done with this job. Not the best moneymaker, this one. If I'm being honest. Not the best moneymaker whatsoever. There's probably a list, and you guys probably know a lot more about this game than I do, but I'm, I'm sure there's a list of jobs that you should do and a list of jobs that you shouldn't do. And this, to me, seems like one of those jobs that you shouldn't do because it's just not all that rewarding. But let's put our wrench maybe in the back seat. Actually, we can just carry this back over to our garage. Let's close that up. We didn't... We didn't drain the radiator, though. We didn't drain the coolant. So I don't think this is actually complete. Nope, it's not. Great. Good. I don't see a coolant drain on the radiator. So I'm guessing just removing the hoses is probably good enough. All we should really need to do at this point... Please stand up. Good lord. But all we should really need to do at this point is just fill it up with coolant. I think, you guys. I don't know. Let's put that cap over there. Grab the coolant. And this is going to be another, like, leaning and pouring type situation. So let's see if we can get this done. First T. Come on, baby. Be good to me. Please. Oh, it's pink coolant. Nice. I dig that. Okay, that seems to be a fairly good pouring spot. So we'll just keep her going. Until she can't go anymore. Or it starts to like overflow or something. We need a funnel. You guys, we need a funnel stat. This is this is not effective. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I think that's actually it. Okay, let's grab... I was just about to take a drink too. Like, oh, this is going to take me a while. Let's put that cat back on. Now if we close the hood, this is it, you guys. This is it. I got a feeling. Feeling good about it. Why am I still crouched? There we go. Job info... We're not done. How are we still not done? I swear it's full. Does that not look full? Or maybe this thing's just empty. 
Uh, it's glitched. I've broke. I I broke the game. Leave it to me, you guys. I broke the game. Uh, let's try this. Okay. And we'll try to pour it some more. Nope. It still thinks that I'm filling the radiator right now, which I'm definitely not. But as you can see, there's still a pouring effect going on. Well, this kind of sucks. I guess we'll just go ahead and abandon that job because since it's, you know, glitched out, there's, there's nothing we can do at that point. This has felt very, very sloppy, but I kind of expected it to go this way just because it, it is a lot to take in. It is slightly different from previous games that we've played, even though it claims to be similar, definitely has some subtle differences. Some things that are just going to be a little difficult for me to get used to. But I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.